Right then everyone, how are you lot doing? This is a uh, part two of the door. Um, I'm actually having a wobble here. Yeah, I just can't work out what's going on with this bloody door. So uh, we'll skip to the door and I'll show you what's going on. So obviously you got your door here, it opens up. It's not like, it's like it's not biting. I just can't work out what the hell is going on inside. It's just like, Does that slide up? But um, for the life of me, I haven't got a clue. But the whole mechanism's moving. See, so no, it's. I just don't know what's going on for the life of me. So there's literally, we're right here. There's literally one screw, and it moves a mechanism along. I'm trying to do it, and then obviously that means that not locking into place. So. Uh, I don't know what the hell is going on, to be honest. I just kind of wanted to lot video what's going on now because I don't want to just do it and then be like, you lot go, what the hell, how did that even happen? So before I, even if I get it working and that, just try and explain what I did so that I'm not just, oh yeah, it's don't work and then next time you see it, it works do you know what I mean so at least if we can kind of go through it together hope you'd enjoy me actually trying to explain to try and do it you know what I mean I need to get some guns man I've just lost them this house has just killed all motivation for the gym so so I'm not too sure if you can see the metal pins in there I guess what I'm going to try and do is get them pins to slide over while this is all the way like that and then hopefully put this plastic thing in it locks it into place whether it does or not different story so basically i put the handle in i make sure the mechanism's all that way out push it in as i try and do it up to lock it into place it's just not locking into place uh, the either the door handle will completely come out or it will lock and the mechanism inside will just go like that and it will move about that much so I have no idea, literally, I'm, I'm struggling so bad. I wish one of you gurus out there could uh, inform me on what I'm doing wrong, because I'm having a wobble. I don't even know, if the, the mechanism could be broke for all I know, and I'm still trying to mess about with it. So I'm gonna try and switch off camera just so I can work it out, and if I do get the hang of it, I'll let you know, so. See you in a minute. So the handle's done up, as you do, and then when I open it, like so, it pulls only that. I do not have a clue what is going on. So what I'm doing now, I'm taking off the actual door mechanism because I'm losing my marbles. So basically what I've done, because I don't actually understand like the actual mechanics of what's going on, I've just took it, took it apart. Um, obviously like this is the inside of the handle and stuff like that. It's, where are we? So this is the inside of the handle. So just trying to work, work out what does. So see this screw, this screw basically opens and closes this. And then the front of the door handle clip goes in here. That's where the clip is there. And then the back of it sits in there. But every time I pull it, this whole thing goes like that. So I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to work out why it's actually doing that. So. Uh, I'm gonna try and mock it and actually put the handle on it just to see what's happening and then uh, see if I work it out, basically. So, as I'm sick of saying this, let's do it. I need to mix it up or just not say anything because let's do it's killing me, you know. I think we've hit the jackpot. I think I know what I was doing wrong. Uh, I'm gonna put it on the stand now and try and show you exactly what I was doing wrong. Well, I wasn't actually doing it wrong but I just didn't know why it was doing what it was doing so I had to try and manipulate the mechanism and now it's actually slotted into place so because I've took it apart I can actually see what I'm doing it's a lot better so I'll uh, set up the camera and just show you what was going wrong Right then, so anyone that can see this here, that bit there right where my thumb is that is the handle so if I push the mechanism down what I was doing was when I was pushing it in it was like, see that? It's completely wrong. So what I needed to do was pull out, 
slot that over the top. Now, and now look at that. Now we have an actual lock system. So what I was doing wrong, this mechanism here, which is obviously when you pull the door, opens the door. Um, what I was doing was that was on top of that. So I needed to like, I need that needed to come out, then go in and then go up over this. So obviously that is the reason why it was doing what it's doing. And now when I put the plastic thing in now, it will all work good and proper. So let's get it in and hopefully it works. To get her in. You know how it works. Then pop the cable through like we do. Jobs are good at. Pop the cable through. And then before I go into here, I'm gonna have to put my hand down the back and move the mechanism. I'm not too sure how well you can see that. But see just above where my finger is, that grey bit was on top of the connector so when I went to pull the handle it wouldn't work properly but now it should work properly. So if it's worked as I think it should have, oh baby there we go, it's actually pulling now and there's some resistance so all I need to do is put that section in, wind the screw back so it locks this little bit into place and this bit should move freely so let's do it. Right then, so this is the moment of truth. Ready? Oh yes, it actually works. So, proof in the pudding. If you're struggling, research it. If not, try and take apart whatever you're looking at. Obviously, this is only a door handle, so how bad can it really be? Uh, yeah, let's close the door and see if it locks. Hear that? actually locked so now if I unlock it keys I ain't gonna press them yes we've actually done it I can't believe it I've done it yes uh, I'm not gonna bother putting the door card on I might get some speakers what do you reckon uh, if I get if I get over 50 likes for this video I'll order some speakers, so get liking everyone. Uh, I actually did it, I'm actually happy with that. I calmed down, took it apart and actually tried to work out what the mechanism was doing. So for any of you that are struggling with anything out there, obviously if it's engine work then God knows, but just take a step back, have a look at what you're working with, go and smash it. So I'm going to leave the door like that. Uh, 50 likes by the end of tonight and I'll get some speakers so let's do it right I hope I hope that helped anyone that was struggling um, people are saying that I should they don't want to see me undoing bolts but if someone out there is struggling with the same thing I've got then they'll be able to see what to do because I've undone all the bolts um, I don't know how to make undoing bolts look fancy either so uh, if you could please bear with me, I'm still trying to form my rhythm. Just because I've got nearly 1,300 subs, man, I can't believe it. We're smashing it. 300 subs over target. Cannot believe it. Uh, let's smash 2019, I'm telling you. 100%. Uh, right then. It's been emotional. See you later. Peace. Just a quick one, if anyone out there has got an Astro VXR and they've got keyless, please try and open the door with the, uh, open the passenger side door with the key in your hand. Don't unlock, like, lock it, just try and open it with just your hand. Um, just to see if it's, if my car actually has a fault or it's just a, a thing that has in common. Cause I do notice sometimes it tell, when I try and start my car, it tells me to put my keys next to the thing. So I don't know if the battery's dead or what. Um, if any of you can comment back and let us know, much appreciated, so.
Peace.